Time to play with some clay. Well, I did a few things today. I made uh, chicken and dumpling soup <laughs> from scratch. And I worked on uh, this delightful couple here. If you want to see how these two got their start, I have uh, two instructional DVDs, one on his creation and one on her and the baby's creation. And you might check those out if you would. Uh, there's a link down below this video that uh, gives you uh, a review of the, or a short, uh, kind of like a Reader's Digest uh, look at the uh, video that uh, is on the uh, instructional DVD on both these. What I did today was I uh, continued doing the uh, rosettes uh, out of uh, uh, quill, porcupine quill, and uh, the uh, porcupine quill strips going on down uh, the uh, robe. And then I added some uh, beads and uh, a couple of uh, uh, pieces of fringe that were hanging down from them just to add just a little more to the, uh, the design of the, the total piece. I've still got to work on the fur and all this other stuff and I'm going to work on the, uh, actually that's a little narrow or thin for a buffalo robe so I'm going to work on that part too. Uh, this is going to be next week of course and I've got all the texturing to do. I've tried to do a little bit where the uh, rosettes are um, because I, you know, had to do it before I put these uh, pieces of fringe on. I'm going to do a little work on his uh, presence too. Um, I'm thinking of maybe having some stuff hanging from the end of his, his knit cap. Um, it would just add a real nice frame to his face. Uh, I might put some beadwork on his uh, uh, gun sheath uh, as well. I don't think I'm going to do, going to do too much. I, I'm going to put a pouch maybe for a tobacco pouch, a little kind of pouch hanging from his neck with maybe a, a clay pipe uh, stuck behind it. And I've got to do some work on the uh, powder horn and, and things like that. I'll uh, work on the uh, robe just to get that fine-tuned but I've got to do a lot of uh, work on the uh, texturing of this uh, buffalo robe as well. That's going to be coming up this coming week. Today I just didn't want to bore you guys with uh, all this uh, you know texturing of the uh, rosettes and so I did it uh, off camera. Uh, Mentioning the instructional DVDs uh, for these two, uh, I have instructional DVDs on a seven, or five or six, no actually, let's see, nine DVDs, so that's uh, another seven DVDs, uh, instructional DVDs on different subjects. And uh, I think you, you might, if you're interested in learning how to sculpt, um, I've got over 50 years that I've put onto those uh, DVDs. And uh, just check them out in my link below, and uh, I'd appreciate it. Also, if you like my videos, subscribe and click the little bell so that you can get updates whenever I do them. And, uh, and liking my videos would be really a great, you know, a thumbs up type thing um, would be really nice. I, I'd appreciate that a lot. All right, well, that's going to be it for this weekend, and uh, I'll see you guys next week. Have a great rest of the weekend. Good night. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right.
See you next time.